Getting to the Spotted Bear River Trailhead requires driving 55 miles of dirt road after turning off Highway 2 in order to get to the Spotted Bear Ranger Station, and then another about 15 miles on an even smaller dirt road to the trailhead. So I decided to take my time and enjoy the trip, savoring the fall colors and the beauty of the Hungry Horse Reservoir and the South Fork of the Flathead River. The last few miles of this road are gated in the winter, but I expected it to still be open since we had had no snow yet, but it was locked. I had planned on hiking about 10 miles to the Pentagon cabin, however the gated road added an extra 4 miles to my hike, and that changed my plans regarding where to spend the night. One advantage of the extra miles was getting to see some country I normally would have skipped including a little oddity called Shelf Lake. This is the tiny tip of Shelf Lake, which is just off the trail, only about 100 feet or so. But amazingly, I can't seem to find a spur trail that goes down to it. imagined myself hiking right along the river and stopping occasionally to fish, but the trail stayed well away from the river and the only easy access points were at Silver Tip Creek where a spur trail led down to the river and again at Dean Creek. Well here's the Silver Tip cabin and I wanted to especially point this out because this actually is a rental cabin from the Forest Service. So you could spend the night in this cabin, which is not something I get to say very often for ranger cabins in the Bob. Got your facilities right there. Horse Corral and the Spotted Bear River is just down the hill. This is the river just below the Silver Tip Cabin and one of the few places that it's easily accessible between the Beaver Creek campground and Dean Creek. It's only about a tenth of a mile down from the cabin. And of course there's a great big hunting camp right next to the river just below the Silver Tip cabin. In case anyone had any doubts about what this is for.
Now that I've seen Dean Falls, which was awesome, I think it's probably about a good time to turn around and head back. According to my GPS, I've gone about 10 miles and it's 4.30. It was a really awesome campsite back about two or three miles, not sure exactly how far, right on Dean Creek. So looking forward to getting to that. And I think that'll make for a pretty solid day of 12 or 13 miles. We'll figure out when we're done how much it actually turns out to be. There's not many places in the Bob with a ready-made bear hang like they do in Glacier. But this campsite has one. Actually it's probably a hunt camp and that's for hanging up carcasses, but it'll work for food too. Well, I think I got a great spot to camp for the night. It's tucked away up against this hill, which is probably a good thing because it's a little bit windy. Just having a cold dinner tonight with the usual bagel sandwich. Decided to go stoveless on the overnight like I usually do on overnight trips. Should be interesting to see whether there's any bites down by the river. The water is so low, it's hard to imagine I'm gonna have to find some deeper holes if I'm <laughs> going to catch anything. Beautiful though. Wonderful to be out here. Haven't seen a single person all day. Which is amazing because it's just stupendous. The fall colors are beautiful. Alright, well that's it for tonight. Have a good night. I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. It's about 40 degrees at 8 o'clock in the morning, but you'd think it was 20 degrees from the way I'm all bundled up. I guess it's uh, pretty high humidity right next to the stream here because it really feels chilly. A little tiny bit of a breeze too. And so I'm really grateful for uh, puffy clothes and even my got my down pants on, uh, which... Uh, pretty grateful for her. They look pretty goofy. I'm all bundled up like the Stay Puff man, but I gotta tell you, I'm uh, planning to do a quick review of these uh, very shortly, and short version of that is I like them a lot, especially on a morning like this. They're nice and toasty. It's kind of like putting your sleeping bag on and wearing it around camp. Well, pretty easy day, and uh, probably just about eight miles to hike back out to the trailhead and plan on taking my time and goofing off on that hike. I slept really well last night uh, and an incredibly long time. I kind of like to embrace what the seasons bring. So last night it was completely dark at 7.30 uh, or 8.30, sorry. 
and uh, so I went to bed and it was still dark at 7.30 this morning so I just stayed in bed. I can't believe that's like 12 hours. It was 8.30 when I finally got up. Uh, 12 hours of sleeping is just nuts. Uh, but I feel just fine. It feels great. And so I think our bodies just kind of adapt to the seasons uh, unconsciously. And it's good to just go with that and not fight it. Exploring the next day, I discovered a massive hunt camp right on the banks of the spotted bear. I don't know whether this is actually an outfitter setup, but there's tons of space for camping outside of hunting season. Wish it was easy every day I'd like that better Wish you'd forgotten what to say That's not your kind So I pick apart my time Never asking why I'm always in So many pieces and it's My fault Get along, little doggy. Get along with me. Ooh, it's time you face the fact that you can't remember the in between. So pick apart my time, never asking why. I'm always in a million pieces, and I don't want to admit. It's always what I get And I don't wanna Take the blame But it's My fault Said I would never be alone Only ask what's good for me Said I would never live alone Only ask what's good this is the largest of the Blue Lakes, which really amazed me because it's such a pretty gem right next to the trail and just about two miles from the trailhead, yet there's no spur trail to it and there doesn't seem to be a good campsite around it either. Great place to stop for a snack though and soak in the fall finery. Wish it was easy every day Cause I'd like that better So I pick apart my time Never asking why I'm always in A million places at once I've never had Enough to let you add Your thoughts On how I think I change My fault
Well, it looks like I'm going to get back to the truck right about 3.30, which actually is just according to schedule. Although it feels like I've been really dragging my feet, just not wanting this trip to end. The conditions <laughs> have just been perfect. I mean, it's like 72 degrees, beautiful sunny day, just a few clouds in the sky and no bugs. I haven't seen a single person the whole trip. And the spectacular autumn colors, I just can't get over them. So I've just been thinking it's fortunate that I love my home and family more than I love being out here because otherwise I don't think I'd leave. But it is good to go home sometimes. So that's it for this trip. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.